Hello YouTube, it's time to get back to where we um, left off. Um, this is part two of the Animation with Damage series, I guess. No, it's not a series, no. Let's not do that. Let's not make it a series. <laughs> but, tutorial. So, I'm gonna explain this code that I just put right here. I'm gonna delete the bottom code. We don't wanna play right here. So, anyways, what you want to do before we even start on that code um, go in the local script and then right click on the local script insert object um, insert a script and then call it damage or whatever but remember the name remember the name scripting is cast, sens cast sensitive which means like if this is damage like this but on the script you put damage with a lowercase d it's gonna have an error so you wanna be you wanna watch out for that and make it disabled because we do not want it to be playing in the local script we want it to play in our right arm or whatever you change it to so and then what you wanna do on damage like the script is insert so right click the, the script insert object and then you want to insert an int value right here int value and then call it dmg or whatever this is going to this is going to make sure that we can be able to change the damage like if i was if i was to make a naruto game um let's say my f key is rustin gun and my g key is rustin shuriken of course Russian shuriken's gonna be gonna have more damage than the Russian gun. I mean, that's pretty. Russian shuriken is basically the better version of um um. Ah, how you get it right? It's basically the better version of Russian gun. <coughs> yeah. Oh my God. Anyways, so yeah. Anyway, we're going to local script now from track to wait track we're just going to put this so I'm going to explain everything so local damage variable damage is our variable name equals script dot damage so this is what I mean like whatever that script that you inserted in the local script remember the name and put the name in there you can just go to it click it copy and then paste it in the script right here and then use the method clone we don't need anything in the argument or perimeter so yeah. damage up parent equals ra so the damage group is going to go in our right arm damage dot disabled equals false because we want to run in our right arm if we don't disable it i mean if we don't enable it by putting this then it's not going to do any damage it's just going to be there and then damage dot damage so the damage var the damage variable dot damage the value so what is what's it doing is damage our variable name is the script that's highlighted right here and then it goes down to the child damage dmg dot value and then we're changing the value to from zero or whatever it is into and this is what this is the good thing you can either do this math.random 515 what this just means is math.random min to math it's just it's going to choose between these the min and the max it can even be the min or the max but it's just choosing it's a random number that it chooses because we don't want maybe we don't want the combat script to have the same amount of damage like five each time you probably want to have some variety in the damage it's like yeah why well, am I gonna give an example you know what you know what I mean or if you want to have like the same the same damage over time like not over time let me start if you want a certain amount of damage every time you do it then erase that and then say equal like any number like 5 10 
and five, or even we can go for One Punch Man, a thousand. That's like a one hit combo. I mean not a combo, but it's like a a one shot. But for me, I want this. All right, now we're done with the local script. Now we're going to our damage script, and it's just basically this. So the first line is local damage equals script that damage. So we're getting the value, our damage value, right here. And now we're gonna make a function using the touch event. So function, function name is damage, and then the argument is part. And then we have this end to end the function, and then script up parent, which should be our right arm. So is script up parent is not the local script because the damage script is disabled, and that's why we do not we do not want it to be enabled right now. Because if we have it enabled and then we give it to the right arm, it's not gonna. I'm gonna have to enable it, and I mean, I'm gonna need to disable it and then enable it since it's already enabled for it to really work to assign the script up parent to right arm. I hope you understand what I was talking about, but yeah. So script up parent and then the event touched the basic um, event. And then we use a connect method. Damn. And then we use commit. Ah. Then we use connect. Then we use the connect method for our function name called damage. All right. Now for the if statement. If part of parent. So let's say the part that um our right arm touched is this guy's torso. What it's gonna say is part, which is Tarso, dot parent, which is this whole character, should be. And then we're gonna find for child humanoid, then. So if we can find a humanoid, this guy's gonna take some damage. And see, there's two there's two ways, and I'm gonna X this out, but there's two ways to take damage. Either this, where you can, and wait, why you want this? Is because it works for a real player and an NPC with a human with humanoid. As long as they have humanoid, it's gonna work. But if you just want to be like, if you want it to be just players, then you want to add this. I'm gonna make it a comment, but what you want to do is remove this part right here. Remove this part and then put this game not players. And then we're gonna use the method get player. From character, you can even go for this if you don't want to type it all in. Double click it, and then in the argument or perimeter, whatever you want to call it, you put part that pair. And so what it, what this does is it only damages players. So if this is a real player that we're attacking, they will have they will take damage. As long, yeah, they will take damage. So anyways, so game not players using the method get player from character. So the so if we can get the character from part dot parent. So let's say part is Tarso again. So Tarso dot parent, which is this whole guy. This is the character. And what if he was like actually in the game? Then this will work and it'll keep it'll continue on with the script. So yeah. Local hume part the parent, which should be the character. Find for child humanoid. So we're getting the humanoid, and then hume take damage damage value. So hume method take damage, and then in the per, in the argument we put damage the value the value. Now there's two ways we can do this too. Now this is good. For if you do, if you do not want spawn killers to happen, if you don't want people to spawn kill, because if someone has force field, it's not they're not gonna take damage because of this method. They're not gonna take damage. But if you want even with force field to um if you want them to have damage, I mean take damage. Oh god, I was doing so good in the other recording. But anyways. 
But if you do want them to take damage with the force field, then what you want to do is say human.health. So humanoid.health equals human.health take away damage of value. So what this is is the human.health is is human health which is, is right now so like let's say your full health 100 so it's so this just means 100 so your health right now is 100 and then it's going to subtract it by the damage of value and let's say the combat is 7 so it's going to be 100 take away 7 and so oops I didn't mean to do that and so what that is is it's gonna make the health be 93 and then it's gonna have regeneration the health regeneration but yeah you get the you get the image and so if it already damaged we do not want it to spam if it's already damaged someone then we don't we don't want it to spam so then what we do is script destroy we're just gonna destroy the script it's there's not gonna be an error for game that debris. Like, he's either gonna add the item or if the item's not, if the item is nil, it's not existent, then it's just gonna let it go. No errors. And that's why we use that instead of just deleting the damage script, just destroying it like using the destro destroy method. So yeah, I hope that didn't confuse you too much, and I'm gonna show you how it works. Um, let me make sure. Okay. So we'll write this NPC. So I'm gonna show you that it does work. So FC taking damage. He's taking damage. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Give me feedback in the comments below. I know it's not a great tutorial, but it is a tutorial. So give me feedback and yeah. Part three is coming your way soon. It's not part three isn't really too big at all. It's just a little I guess tweak you could say. It's just a little 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 tweak. And it's just pref preference. But yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.